Politics are going south and north. Huh? Did you say our politics are going south and north? Right. I said the weather's like our politics are probably going the shitter real quick. And you said, oh, it could go south or north. <laughs> Let me guess, who are you voting for president? Dumb, dumb, or retarded? It's a rough one, that's for sure. These kids don't have a future choice. It's fucked up, fucked up, or more fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit, fuck. Hey, do you know about martial law? Huh? You know about martial law? Right. You know about the military term? Right. So if you Google martial law and Obama, it brings up they voted in the law two years ago. They can enact it at any time right well, now. I know. That's, that's, that's kind of And they thing call thing it that. ready preparedness. You want to know something? If he does that, I think shit's going to hit the fan really quick. We'll find out about I, I'm actually leaving the country because I've had people in the State Department tell me it's going to happen between now and the inauguration. Fuck the election. You still have to accept the oath. If okay. they stop the oath, you won't be president. Here's the deal. If he does that, I'll tell you one they thing, the gun have, laws, they, are, they, they can't do anything about gun laws because they, we'll, they, oh, they'll go, fucking go to nuts. war. But dude, they already have prisons built here in Texas and in California to house over 50 million people. Like the internment camps of World War II, and they have concentration camps built here in the U.S. bigger than Oslo. But here's the scary thought. You know when they sit before the Senate subcommittee and say, oh, we don't do waterboarding on U.S. soil? You know how they say that shit? Oh, yeah. We don't torture people on U.S. Well, that's correct, Your Honor, because a federal official on a federal entity like the Pentagon or a base is not U.S. property. It's federal property. It's not U.S. soil. <laughs> so they're not lying under oath. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you know how I learned that? I was walking in California with some herb into a federal building. He's like, where are you going with that? I have a license. Not in this state, you don't. I said, excuse me? You're on federal property. You're not in the U.S. anymore. You're right. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Well, at least I didn't arrest you. Well, right? yeah, I said, you know, I think I have another appointment. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and left. Because I didn't want to get picked up on resin. <laughs> That's how much it scared the shit out of me. He, uh, and this is in Los Angeles at the federal building. Thank you. You're right. He said, remember that? When you go to the airports, too. That's not U.S. anymore. That's federal property, TSA. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Thanks for reminding me. It has been a bit, you know what, this is the, probably the first I year. never thought as a kid growing up this shit could ever happen here. Uh, I, it's the first year I've ever, like, really watched it a lot, you know what well, I mean? Well, you know, the Communist Manifesto, I've never read it, said they wouldn't take us over by war. It would be by our own moral decay. And we voted this shit in, so it's our own moral decay. Yeah. Although we didn't know what we were getting, they didn't say restrictions apply, we're going to fuck you, bend over, we're coming. <laughs> I didn't get that warning. Be safe, my friend. You know who I feel sorry for the most is your generation. You guys got to put up with this shit. Do you have a pen I could steal, borrow, utilize? I guess we won't be dating after this, then. I can only borrow it. I can't have it. Honey, I thought you loved me. Not that.